Hey, Gavox here. So, huge Mutt News Day, Team Diamond, Season Exchange, or Captain Exchange, other exchanges. Let's go through it all. Let's just dive right in. No more intro needed. We're also getting a patch. I'm going to do another video on the patch. Uh, just download it, and uh, you'll see that later on in a little bit. So, Team Captain Exchange. Also, shout out to Metality for taking all these screenshots. Team Captain Exchange, we've been asking for it for a while. They've basically said, all right, let's do it now. Team captains are getting plus ones to your Lances, Allworth, Sean Alexander, or um, what was it Lynch? John Lynch, right there. All right, let's let's in small in this so that way you can see the whole page, uh, and then uh, do something like this. There we are. All right, all over that place. So yeah, little update. It's kind of like a, almost like a season change tomorrow. It, it feels it's got a lot of the same feels of that. We'll see what they do with pack odds. Um, Team diamonds and the exchange set's gonna be wild. We'll talk about that uh, in this video too. And uh, here's here's the. Uh, Hester and Seau exchange, if you want to exchange Seau for Hester, or I don't know why you'd exchange the other way, but yeah, if you accidentally took Seau, you can now get Hester. Okay. We, the 89-90 exchange set, so it takes a couple 87s to get an 89-90. Uh, based off the, like, the training spreadsheet, you know, where 87s, this was updated yesterday, I don't know why it says 920, I just keep forgetting to update that, uh, but 86s to... Or 80, sorry, 87s at 60k ish to 89s. That would be an L because, as you see, it is three of them. So, yeah, it's it's a tough sell. Um, if you get a 90, you'll profit. Some 90s are more than that. Um, I doubt Team Diamonds will be in this exchange tomorrow. If so, that's a huge over. Wait, no, Team Diamonds are 91, so they're definitely not going to be in the exchange. I uh, I'm thinking on last year's stuff. The 91 overall is Team Diamonds. So. But this exchange is going into the set, so you might be able to profit if you get, like, if there's some expensive 90s out there. But a lot of cards are at training value, so it looks eh at best. All right, Team Diamonds, who's coming? I'm more interested in talking about the exchange set because they didn't reveal the Steelers card, right? They did the, uh, they did half the league reveal. So let's go through here, and then I'll do another reveal tonight on Twitter, and we'll, we'll cover that and give our thoughts and maybe rank them all, uh, tier rank all the team captains tonight. Or, sorry, Team Diamonds tonight. Uh, they do get three times chem, so that's nice. It's only for this team. So, like, Ricky Williams on New Orleans will only get one times New Orleans chem. Still, it's really nice, but for his the originating team, it's three times. This speed break tackle truck, Ricky Williams is going to uh, run, Ricky, run. Um, he's only going to be, like, 220-something, so it's not going to be, like, Derrick Henry Thick or Jerome Bettis or anything. But I think you're going to be very satisfied on your theme team. Dolphins theme team's looking pretty nice so far. All right. Aaron Glenn. He's a little on the shorter side, but he is fast. Slot archetype is the worst archetype, in my opinion. It doesn't really do anything, right? Like, man archetypes got those route uh, KOs, uh, and then, like, zone archetypes has mid zones for cheaper. I don't know what slot archetype does, right? It's got, it's, it's probably got, like, uh, an ability that's better, but it's probably an ability that doesn't really work. Uh, doesn't do anything. Uh, so, powered up, plus your, your like, uh, island DB coverage. He will get 90 zone, 90 man, so a well-balanced guy across the board. Just a little on the shortest side, unfortunately. Uh, Kevin Falk here, receiving back, which is the best halfback archetype, in my opinion. Backfield master is just so powerful. It's so nice to have that out there as if you throw the ball. Like, if you run the ball every down, okay, maybe maybe receiving backs aren't the greatest back out there. You want somebody that can give you, you know, like the power back if you're a north-south runner or elusive back for, for the jukebox for cheap for like 1 AP, I believe, on that. So anyways, speed, nothing extraordinary, break tackle, he can't truck basically out there running uh wheel routes out routes in routes and angle routes for you for kevin falk there on your uh new england theme team and we'll we'll uh we'll take a look tonight at all these again and we'll uh break down which theme teams they're all on i'll have we'll have a list and everything thurman thomas this guy is a receiving back interesting i would not have guessed he was a receiving back but i guess back with those jim kelly uh buffalo they did they did pass quite a lot break tackle change of direction speed all looking pretty solid on Thurman an absolute legend of uh, the NFL too and he was part of those you know unfortunately four-time losing Super Bowl squads but they were good they were dominating the AFC for many years as as it would be you know getting to the Super Bowl every time Deuce Daly this one's great because he is thick and he had a couple years I think eight was it eight year I don't remember, but at the end of his career, he's on the Steelers. So he's got Steelers theme team, the only one that we've seen on the Steelers theme team. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get more. I'll tell you my disappointment in, coming up in a bit here, but 
Not great break tackle, but he can still break a couple arm tackles if they completely like whiff you or miss you. Trucking, change of direction. Pretty solid right here. He is listed at 240. 243, I think. I just Googled it. So he's thick. He's a receiving back, and he's pretty fast. He's like the perfect halfback. And he goes on the Steelers, so doubly perfect. Love you, Deuce. Uh, Arakpo right here. He's slow. I don't think he's going to be on anybody's field. Like, it, once you shed, you got to be able to catch the quarterback. And quarterbacks are too fast. You really need this, like, four-speed faster. Like, quarterbacks are like... It, it feels like quarterbacks are faster than any other card behind the line of scrimmage this year. Quarterbacks have incredible movement. Um, so, Arakpo, obviously, is, is a pass. Even even if you're a Titans fan. Titans theme team's going wild. Even Kralo was shouting out Titans theme team. Kralo... He was, he, during, it was funny. During the Deuce Staley, he's like, yeah, Eagles fans love another Steelers fans. He listed off a Steelers fan. I didn't catch who it was. And then he's like, and yes, others. And then giggled. That son of a gun. Say my name. Nah, don't, don't say my name. It's okay. It's just funny how he's nervously avoiding it now. <laughs> and yes, others. Other Steelers fans of the community. Unnamed others. I'm just the angel of the morning, like I said the other day. Don't even use my name. All right, 86 speed, Billy Joe Dupree. Um, as you can see, uh, quite a throwback for, you know, they uh, not on color television. So black and white, I don't I don't know. That's how people lived back then, I guess. Uh, it's weird that we just invented like reds and blues like 10 years ago. All right, 86 speed. Medium route running, tight end possession. No, he's not better than Waller. I'll say that. He's a better run blocker. He's a bit of a more balanced possession type tight end. Actually, possession, um, that's an interesting archetype. I forgot what the uh the bonus is to possession, but I think it's I think tight end apprentice on him is one AP, which is which is huge. Much cheaper than the vertical threat, which is two AP, you know, half cost. Phil Sims, I'm disappointed this wasn't Plaxico Barris. If 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 the Steelers get Plaxico Barris and the Giants didn't, I'll be kind of pissed. Right? Who the hell wants Phil Sims? Now, okay, to be fair, if he gets 90 awareness, he gets Tyra Master, and then I'll want Phil Sims, and he will be on my squad. So, let me just take that back a second. Let's just rewind that tape. You guys never heard that. All right, Phil Sims, though. Um, okay. Jack Tatum, the assassin. Raiders theme team getting a huge boost, right? This guy, this guy destroyed people. This guy, a well-earned nickname. This was like the epitome of old school football right here. Jack Tatum was a man to be feared. Um, decent speed. Raiders theme team, so you get a boost there also. Hit power, zone coverage, run sports, strong safety. Um, I Yeah. Jack Tatum, you can see him on a lot of teams. You can see him on my team for sure. Raiders theme team got really strong there. Charlie Joyner, a fast, fast wide receiver. Slot archetype, like I said, is kind of the worst one, both on offense and defense. Um, the route runnings, though. They hit both medium and deep route running threshold. Great. Catching traffic, not the greatest, but Charlie Joyner, I'm going to be using him for sure. Gary Zimmerman, um, also on the Vikings theme team. Broncos got your left tackle. Uh, you got that locked down for quite some time. Um, you got Bowles. Is Bowles a left tackle too? That'd be tough to have Bowles and Zimmerman. Maybe one. Of, maybe Zimmerman gets, maybe he'll get red tackle. I don't know. As like a, a secondary. Derek Johnson, good, really good stats. It's just too bad that the linebackers don't jump, right? Like if middle linebackers jump, he'd totally be usable. And I, I'd like him, but I don't know if he'll get like Lurker. I think Lurker on field general is like 95 overall. So it's going to be a bit. Boz, run stopper. So you can get like Enforcer to Flater on him and, and try and like absolutely pop it. The issue is like there's no Bo Jackson to counter him. So he's basically as powerful as uh, Thanos right now without the counter in the game at the moment. Chris Long, Walter Payton Man of the Year. His card a few years ago was really nice. A uh, left end with 81 speed, 90 power move, 87 block shed. It's it's solid, I'd say. It's probably not going to see my field because he's not over 300 pounds. I like him thick. You know that, right, guys? You know that. Thick. Although Kevin Green's been doing really well for me now that I've moved him to more of a defensive end role since uh, Joey Porter came out as my outside linebacker flex role in my 245. Charles Haley. This looks like a stud, right? This is like another... Uh, Derek Thomas, Charles Haley, looking incredible, power rusher, powered up, 90 finesse, over 90 power move, block sheds really nice, Charles Haley, super sweet, Larry Wilson, old school, doesn't have a lot of hit power, last time Larry Wilson was in the game, it was a couple of years ago, right, was he, I don't think, he, if he was in the game last year, I didn't use him at all, 
because of how badly he played a couple years ago. I did not like the way this guy played at all when he was on the field previously. Um, if it was Paul Krause, that'd be different words. Paul Krause, six foot three, an absolute beast. Larry Wilson doesn't lay the boom. It doesn't seem like he lays the boom. I think he's really thin too. So Larry Wilson is, is sadly under power. Uh, all right, Team Diamond sets. Let's look at these things. Team Diamond sets. All right, we're going to compare this with what the Chiefs have. So this is for the 90 Derek Johnson, okay? Tyron Matthew, 87 overall. So they're including 87s in this set. Okay, wild. They got the, both the builders, right? Long Sneed. They got a long Sneed. All right, so let's take a look at what long and Sneed require. So they'll probably go up in price a little bit. Um, team Affinities. Team builders, as you can see, the Chiefs, you get one on each option, so you're gonna need them both, right? So this will require three 80s and 375, so six 80s and six 75s, essentially on top of the set. Or you can buy them off the block if those are cheaper, but 80s are kind of expensive. 80s might have rocketed up with this news. Uh, Frank Clark, so they do have superstars, they do have superstars, which, um, I guess it's not the worst. 83 overall Frank Clark. Let's see if his prices rose like crazy. Up 21k. Is that is that updated or not? Live auctions. 15 minutes ago, 32,000 coins got sold. I would not pay 32,000 coins for an 83. That's an awful, awful, awful decision. But that's what Mutt's about, making awful decisions. 20k for the superstar. There'll be sets and stuff. And, and I, I wouldn't worry about personally, I would not worry about like these superstar cards. Um, you can acquire them beforehand for your team. Um, but overall, like, these things will be generally pretty stable. Joe Tooney. All right. Joe's also out here. Joe is... Oh, good. It's not that one. <laughs> 80 overall, Coralie. So they decided to go with, if we look at this, and, and, and we don't know why. What was that? Right here. 80, 87. As the core elites needed. Okay. 80. Let's see what other core elites are on this. So they could have gone Chris Jones or, Ty or, or Tyree. They went 80. Sorry, 86, not 87. They could have gone Buckner. But he's a kicker. Maybe that's why they pass it on him. They're not going to include kickers or anything 87, 88. So maybe that's it. 86 is and below, no kickers or punters. Because here's the here's the funny thing. And then, then they have all their golds and stuff and whatnot. They stuck us with another 87 to 88 up here. Okay, besides for all the golds on the Chiefs. It looks like all the golds. You can, you can, somebody else can count, but it looks it definitely looks like all the golds on the Chiefs. I mean, all right, fine, I'll count. Core golds. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Not all of them. No, it's not all of them. How many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so not all of them, but a lot of them. And then an 87. They also stuck an 87 overall item behind us right here. Do you see that? Um, and, you know, that is a little concerning. They just wanted to increase the price of the sets. It's too bad, right? These things are going to be kind of expensive uh, with all the golds and everything required for the sets. But 87 to 88, you can either do flashback rolls or you can do the exchange sets, the player exchanges right here for those 87s. It's just a random 87. Um, so, I don't know, flashback rolls might actually be profitable if 87s go up in price. And then, like, you could just, like, you know, quick sell the other ones that are, like, you know, profitable, like 89s, 90s on that roll. So, that might actually be a benefit for those who, who try and do this, like, and just try and make coins off the event. I will say Team Diamonds, one of the best coin-making opportunities of the year. If you're no money spent, low money spent, all money spent, just rolling, like, gap packs and selling them. Because the price of these cards and they're in demand too they go up and they're in really demand so they sell quicker um it's easier to turn over your stock uh and, and just like the market itself it, it just becomes like kind of crazy i like it so if you're doing the sets or no definitely look out we'll be on stream tomorrow it's, it's launching later in the day 
uh, which is tough, and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So we'll be on stream later in the day. Uh, whenever they launch it, we'll boot up stream and get to it. Um, also news, we got an AP update next week. And uh, there will be a Team Diamond Master that's confirmed, okay? That's not bad. Team Diamond Master, so do all the sets because, you know, it's basically Team Diamond collectible. Um, it should be pretty insane doing all these crazy expensive sets. But if you do the set, sell the card, it's probably profitable, right? Last year, the Barry set being profitable was there for months profitable. And uh, probably this will be too because people go crazy and they go lazy. And they, they just buy the 90 overall and the power up and uh, forget about the cost of the set. And then you get the... Uh, basically... Last year, you, you were like able to make slight profit doing all the sets and selling them. But then you basically got the uh, the, the big card, Barry Sanders, for free. Or you could sell it, and it's like 800,000 coins um, by just doing all the sets. So it does take a lot of effort. It does take a lot of grind to go through the sets and do them. But uh, that's the name of the game. That is what it is. All right, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like. Please subscribe. We're going for 100K this year. We're going to try to make it, boys. We're all going to make it. I will see you tomorrow.